we have the 3D printed uh, mounts for the tunnel monitor and the bracket that will hold the mount. Um, the design file right now, these holes are a little bit small and hard to start, so I'm going to take a 3mm drill and just start just a tiny little bit, just so that it'll be easy to get the uh, screw started. And then I'm going to take the bracket and I'm going to attach it so that it's going to sit like this. And this is a uh, metric M3 by 10 millimeter screw. And we will put the screws in. Just tighten it down just so it's nice and snug. You don't have to make this too tight because uh, the screw's not going to really go anywhere once uh, it's assembled. So that's what we're going to start with. Next, we're going to mount the tunnel double monitor here. I'm going to take the part with the connector and slide it in on the right side like this, so that you have access to the buttons, and the left side goes in like this. The cable will loop up over here, and we'll just uh, put in the screw here, and turn it. And we'll just repeat this for the 2, 3, and 4 toll. With a screwdriver, you know, push in over here, to this little slot, and you should be able to just pop this Okay, and we're going to remove this screw in the back. We're going to mount the monitor. Take off our cable here. All right, we're going to cut the zip tie here. I'm going to slide this out just enough that we can run our cable in there. All right, so we're gonna run the wire in the loom. It's a little hard with the flash board, but if you can get it loose enough so you can bend it, it creates a small opening, you can run that in. Now, on this end, we're gonna knock all the way to the end here. I'm gonna take this cable, I'm gonna come underneath here, and it's going to plug into the X-Min connector on the Flash Forge Creator Pro board. That's this one over at the edge here. Wrap this into here, and then we're going to snap the connector on the tunnel monitor. And once we do that, we set the loom back into the channel to hold the loom. And then we'll take our hold down for the loom and just snap it back into place. Okay, zip tie to just secure our loom in place. All right, now we got this installed. We're gonna take our feed tube. And it's going to go like 
right there with our filament feeding in from the bottom. Okay. That's it. It's now installed. We're going to turn on the printer. So one of the things we have to make sure is to go into the general settings and go to the P-stop and make sure that it is set to on. Once that's done, we can say print. And we'll just go ahead and print a file here. So as it starts, you'll see a little orange blip every time the filament moves a small distance. And when the filament has fed enough times, then instead of blue, it'll turn orange, and that means that it's actively monitoring. A blink green periodically to indicate that there is uh, continued progress. Now I'm going to go ahead and reach around back here and grab onto the filament so that it can't feed anymore. You'll see that the blinking has stopped and now it's turned red indicating that there is a problem and you can see that it has gone into a pause.